Dr. Carol Orsborn and Dr. Robert Weber are back to talk about their book right here, The Spirituality of Age. Thanks so much, guys, for coming back and talking more about this subject. Glad Thank to come you. back. I feel like we all can learn so much about the aging process from the spiritual aspect. Now, how is aging different for a seeker? Well, a seeker is someone who is willing to ask questions, uh, looking for an answer. Mm -hmm. And I think what we try to do in our book is we demonstrate or show people how we have grappled with 25 questions that have been essential for us in order to find greater meaning and purpose in our life. And uh, I think what we've done is fashion these questions not to give people a sense of do it our way, mm -hmm. You know, this is self-help, do it our way. Or these are our suggestions, if only you follow these, it's not. It's about encouraging people to be seekers like us and to be willing to live with and ask the questions of themselves and really discover that they have the answers inside them and not be satisfied until they've lived with the questions sufficiently so that they can get to their own answer. That's a seeker. Mm -hmm. Seekers are baby boomers. I'm a baby boomer. Carol's a baby boomer. <laughs> and boomers are seekers. One man mm -hmm. called them a generation of seekers, a guy named Wade Clark Roof who endorsed our book. That, yeah. And why, why are you guys seekers? Why would you consider the baby boomer generation seekers? Oh, um, I think our, our parents' generation were, were more authority, uh, authority driven. They wanted to be told what to do and, mm -hmm. and how to do it and what to believe. Uh, our generation, maybe because we were exposed uh, back, I, I was at, at Berkeley in the 60s. <laughs> <There> <laughs> so, you, <laughs> you know, you were exposed to uh, so many different spiritual <laughs> and um, historical and, and cultural and religious things that it, it shook us out of complacency and, and, and started us on asking questions. And I, I think it's serving us well into older age, and uh, I think that our older age is going to be different than our parents' generation, for sure. Mm -hmm. I would have to agree with you on yeah. that, just watching my own family members mm -hmm. get older. It is, it's, there's definitely a difference. Um, so the book launched in, on September yeah. 25th. What so far has been the response that you've received to this? It's been marvelous. Yeah. Just yesterday evening, we opened uh, our, we did a book launch at Harvard Bookstore in Cambridge, and yeah. it was a packed house, SRO, and it was just gratifying to see what questions people brought mm -hmm. to the session we had with them, to the readings we did, right. and I was very moved by some of the questions, and I wish we had had more time to respond to them. And, and some of the some of the people that have endorsed the book are. Oh. They, they, they come from, uh, I come from an academic background. My PhD is in history and critical theory of religion, whereas uh, Bob is part of the Catholic community as a former Jesuit and also is a psychologist affiliated with Harvard and, and Mass General. And so we've cross-fertilized these two worlds, the conscious aging world with people like Gail Sheehy, who authored Passages, mm -hmm. calling this the best book she's ever read on this particular life stage. And some of the Catholic endorsers are very impressive. Oof. Father Bill Barry, who I've known for many years, who's published so many books on the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius uh, just had a marvelous comment about the wisdom that he saw contained in this book and encouraged, encouraged other people to read it. You, know, you spoke a little bit about your backgrounds. As far as the different approach to sim than simply retiring to life, tell us a little bit about that idea that you're not retiring from life, you know, you're still living. Yeah, well, it's interesting because uh, our generation of boomers, uh, we don't like the idea of retiring mm -hmm. theoretically because, again, what Bob was saying in, in earlier segments is that to us, retiring means withdrawal. Um, uh, it, it, it reminds us that life is finite and that we're going to die and it's a bad thing. Um, but what, what we know when we talk to boomers and when we began our dialogue with each other is that we all want more freedom. And what we want is freedom of choice. And so if, if withdrawing from the mainstream allows you to have the choice to do things that we never had time to do before, like meditate, pray, go to church, um, just sit on the bank of the river and enjoy the ducks and the geese or whatever, um, that's what was missing. At the, when we went to the American Society of Aging, when we very first met, what was really missing was permission to stop being productive and running and doing and mm -hmm. thinking. Can, can I interject something? Uh, yes, you may. <laughs> the, the, I think what we're doing is we're inviting people to transition between from being human doings to being human beings. Oh, 
Yeah. Because like all that. our lives, it's we, we, we consider who we are based on what we can do, what we have, and what other people say about us. Mm -hmm. Henry Nouwen said, that's baloney, famous Dutch priest. And he said, you no, know, that's not it. It's about appreciating your fundamental belovedness and your human beingness. Yeah, uh, aging is not just an extension of midlife. No. In this popular society, they're trying to get rid of it to say, to deny aging and mm -hmm. say, um, we dread it so much that we're not even going to deal with it. We're just not going to do it. We're just going to be young forever. We're right. going to extend midlife. And what we're saying is that aging is a life stage of its own with tremendous value and um, uh, that we can take, we can learn to take advantage of it if if we are willing to embrace both the shadow and the light. Well, where can get people, where can people get a copy of this book? Obviously, mm -hmm. you guys have some great stuff one. to say. Well, you can go to our website, mm -hmm. uh, www.spiritualityofage.com, and there's a place to order books there. Go to see your local retailer, ask yeah. him or her to procure it for you. Uh, but again, there are many, many places that are available on our website. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for coming back. We really appreciated having you on. Thank you thank so you much. Too.